In this page, we will derive a general expression for impedance on a transmission line as a function of distance away from a load that is at the end of the transmission line. So this expression will give us the impedance at any point on the T-line. And with that will come also an expression for the reflection coefficient, gamma. We will also look at a, or define rather, a quantity known as VSWR, which actually stands for the standing wave ratio. And the standing wave ratio um, gives us a, an indication of the, uh, the magnitude of the, of the ongoing reflection on the transmission line. Also, again, we'll define an equation for the impedance as a function of <clears throat> distance away from the load, z. And remember that z is a negative number. And also, gamma of z will come directly from the impedance. And gamma is the reflection coefficient. Earlier we derived expressions for the voltage and the current on the transmission line as follows. Now the term gamma times e to the plus 2j beta z is a vector whose phase rotates linearly from 0 to 2 pi. And the maximum value of this vector is plus gamma, and the minimum value of this vector is minus gamma. So we can use uh, those two facts to find the maximum uh, voltage on the transmission line, which is going to be equal to the magnitude of V naught plus multiplied by 1 plus the magnitude of gamma and so the minimum voltage is equal to the magnitude of V naught plus multiplied by 1 minus the magnitude of gamma. Now we can define the quantity VSWR which stands for the voltage <coughs> standing wave ratio and engineers commonly refer to this term as visoir and it's defined as v max divided by v min which comes to one plus the magnitude of gamma divided by one minus the magnitude of gamma let's find an expression for the impedance, which is a function of variable z, the distance away from the load. So z of z is equal to the voltage at any point on the transmission line divided by the current at that same point. And so we can get that by taking the ratio of the two equations above and substituting the characteristic impedance Z naught for V naught plus divided by I naught plus.
Now it's useful to rewrite this equation using variable L instead of Z. And L is just the negative of Z. And it grows more positive as you move away from the, from the load impedance. We can also use Euler's formula and a couple of trigonometric identities to rewrite this equation as follows. Now the equation that I'm writing is one of the fundamental equations in transmission line theory and it forms the basis of the Smith chart which we're going to learn about later in the course. You can see that the impedance is not constant as you move on the transmission line and it depends on three parameters. One is the characteristic impedance, Z0, the other is the load impedance, ZL, and the third is the distance away from the load, L. Now using the expression for impedance above here, we can define the uh, the reflection coefficient as a function of z and that will give us the the reflection coefficient anywhere on the transmission line and it's simply equal to gamma which is the reflection coefficient at the load multiplied by e to the plus 2j beta z So it's just a vector of magnitude gamma that rotates that rotates around a circle. And using this uh, definition, we can rewrite the expression for the impedance z of z as follows. Now notice that the magnitude of the reflection coefficient anywhere on the transmission line is equal to the magnitude of the reflection coefficient at the load. Also when you're right at the load and z is equal to zero, then the impedance is ZL, which is the load impedance, and that's equal to Z naught multiplied by one plus gamma divided by one minus gamma. So in summary, We derived expressions for the impedance and the reflection coefficient as a function of distance away from the load impedance. Also, we defined the parameter VSWR, the voltage standing wave ratio, as being equal to the maximum voltage on the transmission line divided by the minimum voltage.